Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to link to documents that live in SharePoint or OneDrive inside of WebEx Teams. This is a great benefit because the document lives centrally, all changes made by any users are reflected in real time. Uh, there's really a single source of truth from that document perspective when you're collaborating uh, on a document together. So with that being said, let's dive in, check it out firsthand, and go from there. Attaching a document from OneDrive or SharePoint is actually very straightforward. When you're inside of a space inside of WebEx Teams, simply come to the bottom here at the paperclip icon, give that a click. You have the option to upload from your computer. This actually takes a copy of the document and puts it into the space. In this case, we want to select the second option, which is share from OneDrive or SharePoint online. This allows us to take that document from OneDrive or SharePoint and reference it inside of the space. It does not create a copy. It actually is linking directly to the original document. That way we have a single source of truth inside of our uh, document creation efforts. If we click this link, a dialog box will open. This has our OneDrive files or our SharePoint Teams files listed here. Simply select a folder or file. In this case, I'll drill into the demo folder I'm going to up, uh, share this WebEx Edge Connect Cisco Live presentation by simply checking the box and clicking open. A dialog box will appear that allows me to change the permissions on this document. Now if it's part of a OneDrive or a SharePoint site rather, the people inside of that team or that site already have some level of existing access. I can choose to go with that, people with existing access. I can allow people in my organization to have access, and I can check the box to allow editing. In this case, I'll just share it with people inside my organization and hit apply. I have the option to type a message with this file. When I hit enter, the document reference is posted to the space. With the document posted inside of the WebEx team, I can now go ahead and open it from there. As it opens, you'll notice that the editor for this type of file is opened and the document is opened inside of that online editor. From here, the document can be edited firsthand. You can make changes and they're all reflected in the original document no matter who on the team is making changes. In this case, PowerPoint is open. I can scroll through the different pages and I can make changes and corrections as needed. When done, you simply close the document and those changes live on because we're editing the original document inside of OneDrive or SharePoint. Hopefully you found that a helpful introduction. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, leave them in the uh, comments section below. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.